What's up, guys? So remember this machine. This is the machine that I did that I did um do a video on, but this isn't. But that video wasn't really a good example, cause I made it, but like, you know, when I made it, I feel like when I made it, it didn't really. I was talking to like, you know, low, and I was not really explaining it. Yeah, I was showing you full review, so show you. It, no, no, this just dispenses Kit Kat. See, you put the coin through here, and then that I put the coin right before you put the coin in here. It's gonna give you candy. So I'm, I'm just gonna record this part. That. And uh, I'll be showing you another time. Actually, one more time. A couple more times. And I'll show you how I made it and how it works. So, yeah, let's do this again. This time I'll be um, doing the, the uh, front again. I mean, like the, uh, this part again. Actually, how about if I do, I want it to be like this, but, no, I really need to get it like a tripod, I don't, I want it to film both, okay, I believe I can do this now, so I'm just going to put that here, so, that, you can see that from there, it's a clear example, so, it gives your corner back, I didn't know how to know, make a way, I wouldn't give it back, but it's also a good thing to do. Because for me, this is really for fun. And I want my quarterback. I, just, I don't want to go get like from a cop and keep on getting it my quarters. So I, I just use, I, mean, I just do this. So yeah, it only accepts quarters. If you use pennies or anything else, it's not going to work. Because it's not heavy enough to move. You'll just see. So, this kick I have is really old. Like, she's not that old. It's like a week, or like three days, something like that. So, it's not that old, but it's getting really, I guess, bulky. So, this is the back of the machine. As you can see, this right here, this little cardboard piece, this thing lays on it. Because if I did it, this thing, if I didn't have this, this will literally roll around and I can't put it on. So yeah, this is a screw by the kitchen screwer. And then, uh, I'll just show you after this one more go. So yeah. I'm trying to do the same angle. Last time. Oh, yeah. Two, three, two, and go. Yep, there it is. You saw it. You got your little Kit Kat. This is only a uh, one, one like Kit Kat. Yeah, one Kit Kat, so it's not be that much. But it worth 25 cents. You gotta admit. I mean, you can buy like, how much? Of these, I don't know. So for one dollar, you can buy four of these, which is, which is king size, I think, is one dollar. So. so it's, I mean, like the normal size you would get from the store to the cash register, I think that's one dollar. So they made it kind of similar. So, yeah, now I'll be showing y'all the mechanism. Everyone loves mechanism, right? And to learn, because learning is best. I don't know what I'm talking about that, but so here's what happens. I'll just show you this. I'll just show you how it works on the back of the machine. See that? So basically, if you didn't see from the back, what happened is this little thing right here. I take this card. I mean this um, cardboard piece to the screwer, put holes here, 
and another hole right here so it can spin like this and I also put tape right here so the cardboard screw I mean the screwer would not get out so yeah um and yeah so nothing really else to talk about but really what happens is so when this thing falls the coin hits here so so here's how it is so when the coin falls from here remember I said this thing could roll well it hits here and then it drops down and then it brings the candy on the other side which is the front and gives you your candy so yeah that's so simple way of making a vending machine shout outs to a Karam the inventor inventor Karam the inventor I think he actually gave me this idea of making this kind of vending machine go check him out um, just search K A R A M T H E I N V E N T E R. So it's just Karam K A R A M Karam the Inventor. So yeah, he he made this video. He made this, yeah, he made this video and he showed how to make this, and I thought it was really cool, so I made my own. It's pretty cool, see? So, when the coin hits here, it makes that fall down. So, yeah, it's a pretty smart way. I, did, I never thought it's in my life. I, I, when I saw this video, I was like, whoa. She doesn't even have that much subscribers. Only well, like 20. You know, I think I've lost a little bit. Doesn't have a lot, of, but his mind is really good. Cause I never would, no one really, really, I mean, no one would ever really think of something like this. And by the way, this can only hold one candy. Well, I mean, you could put two or three or how much you want, but I will dispense all of them. So, yeah, that's the only downside to this machine. But it's so cool at the same time because it requires money. You know, most machines on YouTube. Like, they don't really ever require money. <clears throat> the ones made out of shoeboxes and stuff. Those ones. Those are never, like, those are barely ever money required. They just put money in for fun. But this one, without money, you cannot get anything. See, if you shake it, okay. Maybe if you shake it, that will But it's so cool. And... I'll just show you another time how to refill it. So when you refill it, I think you, some of you have a lot of trouble kind of trying to refill it. So you put it, you line it up with stick. And that's not lined up. You line it up with that. See that? It's lined up on top with the screwer. That way, the reason why I did that is because if it's too much here, here's what's going to happen. So, watch this. See, it's just going to stand there. Because this all this weight is on here. You want a lot of the weight to be in the middle. So, when it's in the middle, it will, since like there's this thing right here, it will most likely go over here. And, yeah, that's really it. See, now, I'll dispense. So yeah, that, if you made this and you have that problem, you can fix it like that. Um, by the way, this machine, I didn't put anything on it. I was trying to print Kit Kat, but my ink ran out, so. I'm so unlucky. But, you know, let me show you a machine I made today. And it's actually a really cool machine. So I was going to my like closet, I guess, and then my shoe closet, and I had a lot of shoe boxes, right? And I found this. This is not a shoe box. This is like a big box. And then I made a big machine out of it. But check this out. This is probably the coolest box I've ever seen. So if you don't look, 
closely. I mean, if you look closely, it's that little like dot right there. Or, see that? That is a magnet. And there's a magnet somewhere right here, I'm pretty sure. So, it's so cool. Because, look, it closes like a magnet. Look at that. There's no tape or anything. It's just straight out magnet. I think that is probably the coolest box I've ever seen. So look. That you can even hear like a click. I don't know. There's nothing here. It's completely smooth. I don't know. I think there's a magnet. Look at that. It's so cool. I think it's something over here. I don't know. And plus, if there was tape, then how am I removing it? So yeah. Um. Yeah, this is the same concept of the other machine, but it works a little bit differently. I really like how this thing you know, can, just, can just open it. I really like that. I think that's a really cool thing they did. Um, yeah, so it's not a machine. I mean, it is a machine, but here's the piece that you put to here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so you put that to here. Um, I can't do this with the camera on my hand. So let me, oh my god. It's already like 12 minutes in this video or 11. And it's getting pretty good. Um, definitely explained a lot more in this video. So yeah, I have done this. Ooh, you're almost 12. So yeah, here's, I have, I mean, here's what I did. Yeah, it's just the same concept. This one's a little bit different. Because this thing right here, this is just the backstop thing. Remember this, the backstop thing. Remember that on this machine. It's this thing right here. That. So yeah, this is a little backstop. It actually doesn't really use the work. But, oh, I think I put it on the wrong. No wonder it doesn't really work. There's a little bump I made right here that keeps it from falling. But that didn't work out. And so I used this little, so I put a little bump right here. So it can't even fall off. So yeah, I'm just going to put it through the hole. It's so hard doing this with the camera. Basically just put it through the hole. And we going to do the other one. Here, it's a little bit tight. Compared to my other one, this one's way more tight. It means I don't need to add tape like the other ones for it not to fall off. So it's actually pretty cool that. I, mean, I didn't mean to even do that. But it, it worked. So yeah. Now, I, the reason why I didn't film this or anything was because. Um. The reason why I didn't film this was because at the time I recorded this, I mean, I made this I mean, when I wanted to make it. Um, you know, there time I didn't really think about YouTube. I was watching a lot of YouTube, and I just wanted to make this, so I completely forgot. <laughs> but I'm sorry, actually. One of the main reasons was because this box is so thick, because it has magnet and has all these random stuff. It's super thick, and I didn't want to show it because it was like so. I guess you know. Oh, I guess it was like really. I don't know why I didn't. I don't really know why I didn't record it. I think. I think the main reason was because it was so thick and it was taking so long. I mean, this one doesn't even work that well because it's the best. It doesn't have the backstop. So, yeah. If it doesn't have a backstop, it's not good. So, yeah. It doesn't really work, actually. But, yeah, I think. I mean, you see, it's like this, and then as soon as you close it, it just falls. So, I'll try to fix that another time. But, the main focus. It's really this machine. Let's get the kick out from here. Um, so this machine, it, it's not really a machine that you would, you know, put in public. Because first of all, it's made out of cardboard. Anyone can break it. And second of all, 
This is really a toy, you know, kind of like a toy or a collecting thing. It's not really something you would want to use for, for like making money. Oh, oh, I didn't line it up. See that? So I didn't work. No, make sure you line it up. I always forget that. So lined up. But yeah, lined up like that. So yeah. Um, oh, I think this machine is pretty cool. Oh no, what happened? Why is it not working? Wait. Oh, okay. Let's get this. There we go. It's not what's gonna work. Let me fix that. So yeah, the bottom actually needs to be lined up with stick. It's not too much lined up. Good enough. And it should work. Three. Two, one, go. Yep. Works perfectly. Um, yeah. I have a slit right here. I mean, not a slit, like a little opening. The reason why I have this, I cut off this door. The reason why I didn't really cut this was because I want it to be like a real machine. You know, all those machines where it just calls like that and you open it and you see your snack. You're like, oh my god, snack. Yeah, I want it to be like that. But yeah, the refill is not the easiest on this machine, but using it is so simple. You just need your uh, oops. Hard doing this with the camera, but I don't know. This machine, the only downside is that the coin thing, the, the fact that it doesn't give you coins back, I mean, it gives you coins back, and the fact that, um, it, it's really kind of hard to refill. Because you have to put it at the, sick, like at the really good spot. Like the lined up spot like that. And yeah, you have to be really careful with it. Or else it's going to fall easily. You have to slowly turn it. And then, I'll be showing you the price lot only. Actually, I don't know how. Can you all see? I don't know if y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm trying to put it at the angle. You can see it live. I mean, like, it happened. Oops, oops. Put it lined up with stick. Oops, oh my gosh, it fell. Wait. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Can you all see that? I don't know if y'all saw that. But, yeah, that's the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, hope y'all enjoyed my video, and bye.